This is my newest one. I think I'm gonna call it Papillon. It's got a long scale length, 26 and a quarter. Everything here's got hide head, goat skin. And it's got my Romero tone ring in it, and it's a slot head. The idea was um, um, focused, but warm. This one I'm calling Big Blue, because it's a 13 inch rim. It's got uh, Blue Heron L shoes on there. And this is based off of some early minstrel era banjos. It's low strung. It's just a big, big, warm, tubby, tubby sound. And this one, up until I just made Papillon, was my Desert Island, or my kind of one banjo. It's got uh, a regular flange on it, like a bluegrasser. That's my design, that's all heavy machined brass. It's got a hide head, it's got our Bella Rose tone ring in it. It's one of my tone rings I developed. Figured walnut, really beautiful wood. Um, right now I've put nylon strings on it. Normally it would have steel strings, but I wanted to have uh, this kind of tight percussive sound, but with a low strung nylon strings on it. And I call this one Birdie, just because it's all bird's eye maple. No scoop. This is really just meant for, for finger picking. Um, and it's got a, what they call a flathead tone ring in it. Um, actually found it in the ashes of our shop fire. Claro Nouveau. And this one has a small flangeless resonator on it. Again, all Claro. 12 inch pot and 25 and 7 eighths scale length skin head. It's really good for like solo pieces. It's got a lot, a lot of sound going on. Good for claw, good for finger picking. This one's one of our gourd banjos. I've been making a lot of these lately. Really love the sound. Uh, just got Doug Fur, local Doug Fur neck. And a big old, big old gourd. Make about 20 of these a year, these toys. Really, when I'm at home, that's what I'm grabbing. It's the gourd. And this one I called Mother because this one was in the back of the truck the night we had the fire. And then after I built the new shop, all the new templates came off of this banjo. First is the inlay. It's Nouveau inlay. And I've just kept this one the longest for some reason. Just don't never want to let this one go. It feels good, sounds good. It's pretty simple. It's kind of my what I prefer. Just really nice wood, nice hardware. And this one's a gourd guitar. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. I just wanted to know what it sounded like. Um, it's a really big gourd, and it's a roasted butternut neck. Um, I put steel strings on it at first, and it didn't quite sound right. So I put these silk and steel on it. 